everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to do an updated craft room tour. So I have had a lot of people <laughs> requesting this video, and I just want to say that I'm always a little bit hesitant to do the craft room tours because in the past I've gotten a lot of flack from people telling me that I have too much stuff and I need to, um, I don't know, they just they judge. But let me tell you something. I have been doing beading now for years. So I've collected a lot of stuff over the, you know, course of, <laughs> of beading. And you will see as you bead longer that you will accumulate a lot of stuff as well. Um, I am a bargain shopper. I don't buy things unless I have coupons for them. I'm very frugal. I compare prices. So the stuff I have, and then I have been given a lot of stuff, which I'm very thankful for, but I also donate a lot. So, um, I give a lot and I believe in the principle of you reap what you sow. And I believe God blesses for, for my giving. So having said that, we're going to do, because it's been highly requested, an updated craft room tour. And I'm going to show you in depth how I store everything and, and how, you know, it's all put together in here because I actually just reorganized and redid all of this. So, um, it's clean right now and there's Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Sadie. <laughs> there she is. Um, it's clean right now. And so this is a good time to film the video. So we're going to get right into it. Okay. So first off, I want to say I've not always had, um, this craft room. When we lived in West Virginia, I had a little space in our basement. And um, when we moved to moved in with Chris's parents for over a year, I didn't have any space <laughs> because we only had our bedroom there and bathroom. So um, a lot of stuff was in storage. So <clears throat> since we've been in Fayetteville, this actually was our guest room. And you can see there is the mattress <laughs> to the bed against the wall. We had a whole bed in here. If you watch my previous craft room tours, there's a bed in there. But we decided that um, we don't have people stay here often enough to justify having that space tied up with the bed. So we put the mattress up against the wall. So if somebody comes, I can actually move these tables and we'll put the mattress down on the floor and they can sleep on that. Um, but right now it's up against the wall. So I'm just going to start over here at the door and I'll try not to make this like motion sicknessy, but I don't know how else to do this. Okay. So all of that there, let me back up. All of that over there, the pegboard with all the beads and all of the things hanging on in the, um, that's a shoot organizer on the back of the door. That is all stock for my website. So I keep my stock for my website se separate from my own stuff, obviously, because I don't want to use what I'm supposed to be selling. So all that is stock for the website. Chris put those pegboards up there for me and I just buy pegboard hooks and hang the the beads on them and then the ones in the shower or the shoe holder there are mostly lucite flowers they're for sale on my website so all of that is website stock um and somebody beth asked me if i would tell how i inventory my stock and i some of the things i put a little label let me show you some of the things i will put a little label on like these little beads right here, these little rondelles, I get them confused. <laughs> and so I've labeled them R1 and R2, and I think this one is R3. And there I can there's a place in my software for my website where I can put that number. So then I know when that order comes up for one of those, I can look it's either got R1, R2 or R3 and I know um exactly which one it is so I can pull it. My um software keeps track of the number so when I get an item and I put it in the software say I have um you know I have 20 strands of of these little copper colored rondelles right here these little tiny ones say I have 20 strands of those so I would put that in my website um it it, uh, it has a place that allows me to put 20 strands of this and then it counts them down as they're ordered so I don't really have to keep track um, on paper or anything like that of the stock. My website does that for me. So that's very handy. So 
that is a lot of the stock for my website. And then up here, I have some paper towels, which are completely necessary. And that up there is the um, inserts for my light box and some beading boards and a clipboard and just stuff like that I use for like bead weaving and stuff. Okay, so then you come down here and this is the polymer clay area. <laughs> and one thing that I have found is if I can have a small different area for each thing that I do, it makes it a little easier. So this is polymer clay and resin right here. Um, and it's just folding tables. I mean, it's not like I've done anything fancy there. It's just folding tables. Um, but I have my clay machine. And the other thing that I found is you have to put at your fingertips the things that you use the most. So, you know, I'm not going to put all of my cutters out here on my workstation because, yes, I use them, but I don't use them all, all the time. So I use my clay machine all whoops, sorry about my finger there, use my clay machine all the time. I use um, my rollers there and my um, UV lamp all the time. The things that are here, the paints and the varnish and the um, baby wipes and all that is used all the time, almost every time. And then in here, and this is a three drawer set from Walmart, I have um, in the top drawer is like wax paper and some stamps and that kind of stuff. The second drawer is mica powders and cutters. And I have everything, I try to put everything in containers in the drawer, okay? So yes, you want like items together, but if they're just loose all in there, it's gonna be a mess. So I, I container in the drawer <laughs> because I'm really OCD. So these are cutters and they're like in I've got animals, like butterflies and stuff in one. This one has shapes, snowflakes, moons, hearts, that kind of thing. So I, I separate all of them out and try to, I try to be really organized because the more organized I am, the more efficiently I'm going to work and I'm not going to have to search for things. So all my clay is in here. This is clay. There's little scraps in there. There's clay between um, page protectors in here that's been rolled out and there's blocks that haven't been opened down there so that's my clay and this is a silicone mat that I got on Amazon and it's awesome because nothing sticks to it like resin won't stick to it it peels right off um so that's a really good thing I like that and then there's alcohol inks back there and this container was actually a um plastic um you plastic um what are they called? Forks, knives, and spoons? Silverware. <laughs> Plastic silverware container. It had knives, forks, and spoons in it, and I just used it, put my alcohol inks in there, <laughs> so it works really good. Um, and then under this table are some pillows <laughs> that I don't have any place else to put. And then this is the stack or the uh, container that I've got all of my stuff for the giveaway that's coming up. So I've gone through my entire craft room and cleaned out and there's going to be a huge giveaway when I reach 7,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a video about it. And uh, that's going to be the giveaway. And it's big. <laughs> um, and then there's my step stool because I'm short. And I cannot reach the top row of beads up there if I don't have a step stool. <laughs> so the step stool is necessary. <laughs> okay. Like I said, there's the mattress. So it's not perfect. I mean, you know, it would be nice if we had a separate guest room and a craft room. But we don't, so you make do with what you've got. Um, then here's another folding table. This is my shipping station. <laughs> so when I get an order in, um, I print out the packing slips and lay them all here on the table. And then I fill the order. And as I fill the order, you know, I put it in a organza baggie. I put it in a bubble baggie. I put it in a poly mailer. I add their little free gift. This is the free gift basket. These are bags, small, medium, and large that things go in. Um, this is the thing that Beth got me. It's a sticky bead mat thing. And every now and then, like, I was doing um, rose gold clamshells the other day, and there was a jump ring in there. So when they filled it at the factory, they <laughs> accidentally put a jump ring in it. But I set my phone on that and watch videos while I'm doing stuff because it's sticky and it holds my phone perfect. Um, so over here's tape. There's the scale. That scale came from Amazon. That's a little tray that came from Amazon that I put, you know, the strands of beads in and then funnel them into a baggie. And then these are all bead caps. 
And I just have them sitting here on this table because it's easier for me to sit down and count them out right here than it is for me to try to keep them somewhere else. It's just easier because that's the table there. And under here, this is a little um, nightstand that we had in here when we had the bed over there. And it's got just like my medicine in it and stuff like that. So that's why that's there. But then this is resin supplies and um, lucite flowers. So I've got all my resin molds in that one down there. This is all glitters um, and inclusions. These are lucite flowers that need painted. Um, this is sanding material. This is a um, just a container that I put rice in when I'm doing resin to lay things in to keep it level. And that down there is the resin and the cups and the flame and all this stuff. So those are some drawers that I got at Roses. I don't know if you have a Roses near you, but I looked for two drawer stacking units. Um, I wanted ones like this, but just two drawers tall because they would fit underneath the table where this bar is. The, uh, that tall one won't fit. And I couldn't find any anywhere. And then Roses had these. They were single drawers. And so I just got four and stacked them. So that works out really well. So that's that. That's the shipping station. <laughs> Um, okay, now the shelves here, let me just say, the desk, so the desk area, this part, and this part, it's all one piece. It came from Amazon. Chris bought that from Amazon for me for Christmas like three or four years ago. The shelves we have put on ourselves, and these shelves here are five um, shelf bookcases that we got from Target. And we took them apart and re-put them how we wanted them. So normally they would be tall and they would have five shelves. But we didn't want them like that. So we turned one on its side and we just changed them around how we wanted them and put them on and put the shelves in different. I just customized it for myself. And then this is just a little three shelf unit from Walmart. So there's my light box up there. My light box came from Amazon. And I love it. <laughs> okay. And then we have all... Now, this is all of my personal supplies, okay? Everything's in a container and everything's labeled. So, most of the containers, like these here, are the Harbor Craft or Harbor Freight. Goodness, I can't think. Harbor Freight containers, okay? So, Harbor Freight has these containers. These right here. And they have, a, they have these little tabs that close, so you can lock it closed. And they have all these little um, boxes inside. I'm going to show you one here in a minute, but I'm not going to, I'm going to put the phone on the tripod to do that. And then these containers, these big, the big one, not the ones inside, but the big one came from Dollar Tree. Um, all of these that you see, these clear acrylic ones, all came from Dollar Tree. That one with all the little drawers in it came from Joann's and I got it um, like after Christmas one year on a 70 or 80, 90 percent off sale or something. It was like two dollars. <laughs> um, this I have sitting out here because Lynn sent me a friend mail and she had bead soup just add string and I love that. I thought it was really cute so I set it out there just for decoration. Um, and then up here are more of the Dollar Tree containers, the Harbor Freight containers, and then these are just regular, um, tackle box containers from Walmart or wherever. There's Chris playing his sacks up there. I've got pictures around. That thermometer right there belonged to my grandmother, and when she passed away and we were cleaning out her house, Landon wanted it, so he took it, and then a couple years ago on Mother's Day, he gave it back to me as a gift, so I thought that was really sweet. It's sentimental. So up there, same kind of containers. That green basket came from Dollar Tree. So all of my containers, have most of them have come from Dollar Tree. This is a, a work light that Chris hung up, um, and it just helps me to be able to see because I'm half blind now. <laughs> um, and it hangs from the ceiling on chains, and it's awesome, and he got that on Amazon. Then there's Landon and Logan and Grandma. That's the Grandma who was the thermometer. <laughs> and then I've got these little containers out here that have just various things. Now, like I said, it's really important to put things you use a lot at your fingertips. So I've got a container of jump rings and um, 
head pins and eye pins that just, I think they got spilled and that's how they all ended up in here together, but I use them. <laughs> um, all my tools right here. Lynn made me these. Lynn um, sent me this friend mail. It came with the friend mail with the bead soup and they are so cute little. I put them out there because I love them. Um, and then we've got like glasses and just other various things that I use. This is a tray that I got from Harbor Freight for free. <laughs> it was one of their free gifts and it's metal or um, magnetic so it holds things in it and one time I set it down in this accidentally. Don't ever do that. That's bad. See there's I never did get all the jump rings off the bottom of it. Okay um, then I have my this is my arm thing that my phone goes on. I've got two lamps. They're just regular desk lamps. And then the other shelf here. And I'm going to show you these containers here in just a minute. But they're all, those are the three, four kinds of containers that I use. These Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree, Harbor Freight, and Dollar Tree. And those are really all the containers that I use except for like the tackle box type and you can get those at Hobby Lobby or where else and I just I don't have too many of those in here are some washi tape some paper there's printer ink scraps from where I print out my labels I keep the scrap paper um, just office type stuff there's my water <laughs> there's an owl with some scissors and stuff and then I've got chain on here for the website this is chain that I sell and the printer is up there with the printer paper in it so um, this is a rolly cart that came from Michael's. I took the wheels off and set it up on another folding table right here. So this is where my computer is. This is where I do all my orders and, and my work, my YouTube videos and all that stuff. Okay, so that is that this portion of the room. <laughs> okay, now I have this rolly cart too. This one came from Michael's and this is again website stock. So Coriana chain. Look at Sadie. <laughs> Sadie, what are you doing? Are you tired back there? Looks like you are. So I've got Coriana chain. I've got bead caps. Just all kinds of stuff in this. And I, like I said, I don't really label everything because I know everything I have on my website. I know it sounds crazy, but I know every item pretty well. There's a couple that I'll label if I think I'm going to confuse them with something. But for the most part, I just, when I order, like when I get all these little clamshells in I put I divide by I sell them per so many grams it's like 75 pieces I divide that by the amount that I have and it tells me my stock number so I just put that in the computer and it keeps track of it but this is a really handy cart that I use <laughs> um, and then over here on the let me see if I can get back far enough to get the whole thing so these rolly carts these were two of the, I think they're 12 drawer rolly carts from uh, Michael's and they put them on sale every now and then for $29.99, which is an awesome, awesome deal for these. This is two of them stacked and zip tied together. So I took the wheels off of one. I zip tied them together, as you can see right there, and I stacked them. And that's what I have all of my beads in. So I've got a color for every drawer. And then I have the pearls separate. So let me see if I can show you. Sadie's. Sadie, you're in the way. <laughs> you're right where I need to be. She doesn't care. She really doesn't. Okay. She'll move and I'll walk over here. Okay. So each drawer, if you can see, silver, black, yellow, dark blue, purple, red. And they're not very nicely put in here. They're just in there. So <laughs> strands of them, little containers of them, baggies of them. I used to be a lot more organized in these drawers, but I don't know. I found that it really was not worth the time. I mean, to sit and put everything in containers when I, I don't really need to. As long as they're separated out by color, I pretty much don't have a problem. And then down here, these last no, these three drawers right here are all pearls. And I just, I don't know why I like to keep my pearls separate from the rest of my beads. And these down here are turquoise. I don't, they're just, um, they're separated from the other colors for some reason. And I have a multi, a drawer that has multicolored things in it. So, you know, if it doesn't have a single color. So that's how I store my beads, okay? Sadie's got a bed there, and she lays by the window a lot of times and looks outside, see outside. She'll lay there and look out. 
Okay. And then this set of drawer, um, shelves. Okay, so we have, it's like a little cubby back in here. And it fits the set of shelves perfectly. <laughs> and I have stuff back here that I just don't use a whole lot. Like there's a bunch of books down on the bottom. Um, and then there's my Cricut. Some extra bead mats. And these are the trays that Catherine Kay got for me. Um, this is jewelry that, that I take to craft shows or whatever when I go. That's all in there. Finished jewelry. Um, there is some tissue paper and packing stuff. This is all Swarovski crystal or fake crystals to these right here. That's a bag of stuff that I need to go through. Um, these are 80 or 60. Six. I can't tell what these are. They're seed beads. 60 and 15 I think, in there. And then up on the top is stuff. There's glues and like just a caddy that's got all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. There's seashells in this thing right here. So, and then I got these little pretty geode hangers from the Dollar Tree. So I hang chain on them. I had it separated out into colors, but I think I've knocked a few of them off when I was vacuuming and stuff. <laughs> they got all messed up, but I hang my chain on those, some of it anyway. Okay. And then we come over here and open the closet door. And this is all website stock. So, bicones cones here. This is um, overstock of stuff, like more bead caps. This is back stock that it won't fit out right now. <clears throat> That's all loose like flowers that are painted. <laughs> I've got the 22 millimeter, the minis, the fancies, the pendants, the flat, the 14 millimeter, the 22 millimeter, 900 to 1000s, which are how I have them numbered, and the tulips. So that's all that. Those are gemstone beads back there. Those are actually my own um, stash, but I just didn't have any room for them out here, so I stuck them in there. <laughs> and this is all stock for the website. And again, I know everything I have. So, you know, for instance, I don't really label each thing. If somebody orders one of these um, Tibetan pendants, I know what that is when it comes up on my order and I just pull it. And then my inventory in my program keeps track of how many I have left. So I don't really have to do that part. Um, this is boxes for shipping, bubble wrap, and then up here is all extra storage stuff, containers. Those are kid beads. Like, I do a lot of mermaid tail necklaces when I'm making jewelry, which I haven't done forever. And those are the kid beads up there. Um, I think that on the bottom is another container that has some finished jewelry. Yeah, it's the kid jewelry. It's all the mermaid stuff. And then up top is my labeling. Like, when I go to craft shows, that's my um, tub that has, like, my stamp and my um, earring cards and stuff like that in there. And then here's another shoe organizer with beads. And this is again, stock for the website. And then I'm going to show you guys something awesome. <laughs> so for those of you who think I never mess up <laughs> on anything, <laughs> here is my bead soup. Okay. This is all jewelry that's been taken apart and needs to be put away. Chain, just bunches of, sorry, I'm shaky, bunches of crap, um, you know, polymer clay stuff that didn't quite turn out. This right here is leather. This is all of my Cricut stuff. I don't, I couldn't fit it over there on the shelf with the Cricut. But yeah, this is my bead soup, guys. <laughs> so, like I said, for all of you who think that, no, she never messes up on anything. Yeah, well, there's the proof that I make a huge amount of mistakes and have to pull stuff apart and then I have to sort it all, but I haven't had a chance to sort it, so it's not sorted. Not at the moment. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to get up here, and I'm, it's going to be a little bumpy. I'm trying not to move it, but there's no other way. Um, that little scale I got on Amazon, we have one of these at work that we uh, weigh out our crystals, and that's how I weigh out my seed beads. And the reason this has an X on it is it's already weighed, so when I turn my scale on, it zeroes out. So now when I add in 10 grams of silver spacer beads, it's going to measure the correct 10 grams and not include the weight of this tray. So that's why that tray has an X because it's a certain, I have to use it for that scale. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. So that is the craft room. And oh, I missed this bottom shelf over here. I know. So this bottom shelf over here, um, it is in with the desk and there's a chain. This container has chain in it. This is stuff that I use when I take pictures. So there's like a lint roller there and like a rock 
that I lay stuff on. You can't really see it, I know. And then down there on the bottom, that's a basket that has stuff in it that I use when I take pictures too. So like a faux fur um, thing that I lay stuff on and a drape for background. That's just all picture taking stuff. Then this is stringing, um, cord, wire, and tiger tail and stuff all down there. And then I have a fan for the summer and a heater for the winter. <laughs> and then the desk so I'm going to put this um, camera on the tripod and I'm going to show you the insides of these containers and how I sort and label stuff okay so hold on just a minute okay so I forgot this shelf <laughs> and I wanted to mention it because like I said I try to keep everything that I use constantly at my fingertips okay so those are jump rings Oh, this is just some stuff that's I'm going to add to my giveaway, but <laughs> I don't I don't keep that there normally. These are lobster clasps and some rhinestone rondelles, and Beth sent me these little containers, and I love them. They stay there. This is Sadie's biscuit thing, and <laughs> she always gets a treat when she comes in here, and those are um, tiny rondelles. They're separated out by color, and those are actually just photo box container things, <laughs> but that's what I'm using. And then up here... We have scissors, the scissor sharpener, tools, E6000, and then that's just a pretty container of sea glass because I don't have any place else to put it. Then up here we have shell, lamp worked glass, wooden beads, butterflies, polymer clay beads, and ear wires. All those are ear wires up there, okay? So all that stuff is stuff that I use a lot, and that's why it's there. Okay, so now I'm going to put you on the stand. Okay, so... I have one, two, three, four, five, six main types of containers that I use to store everything in, okay? Um, they either came from the Dollar Tree, Harbor Freight, or the um, containers that are like a tackle box container came from Hobby Lobby. All right, so this is the first type. This is a Dollar Tree container, okay? So it's got, it comes with this little lid and these little handles that come up and put this lid on tight and I like these because if I drop this all this stuff's not going to fall out hopefully hopefully it'll stay and these are pretty secure so I got these because they had them one day and I was like hey that would work great now inside <laughs> I used to be a lot more organized but I'm not so I have this little container with bead caps in it these are all bead caps so everything's labeled well I say that and then this one's not it should say bead caps. Most of them do here. They like this one. Bead caps. <laughs> Most of them are labeled. Some of them I, I just reorganized, like I said, so some of them I've missed. Um, and then inside here, I just have them in various things. I buy these little ones from the Dollar Tree. I love these just to put small amounts of stuff in. A lot of these are just in baggies. These are the containers that go in the bigger container from Harbor Freight. I'll show you here in just a second. And I love these containers because they clasp closed right here. Your stuff's not going to fly out everywhere. So this is one type of container that I store things in. And I like these because they stack. They stack with the other ones too. So if you have a bunch of stuff different, even mixed different kinds like I've got here, they're going to stack. So that's one type. Here's the Harbor Freight container. Now, these used to be $4.99. Lynn told me they just went up to $5.99, which is heartbreaking. <laughs> but um, bead caps, and then they come with 24 of these little boxes inside. So you get the container and 24 of the little boxes. So $5.99 is still really a good deal for that. I mean, these are great containers. But um, like I said, it's sad that it went up anyway. And then I put these in here, and I put, these are um, Dollar Tree containers as well. I put these in here. So I don't, like, the Harbor Freight container does not have to contain all these little Harbor Freight things. I mix stuff. So, you know, if I've got a small amount of gold bead caps, that's how I mainly do it. Usually these are separated out into gold, silver, and antique bronze and copper bead caps. That's how I do it. Like, I put my gold in one silver and one, but they've gotten all mixed up and I need to reorganize them all. But that's how I normally do it. And so I would just choose the container based on how many bead caps of that color needs to go in there. So that's kind of how I do that. But I love these containers from Harbor Freight. And these little labels just come from Dollar Tree. And I know I should type them up and make them look pretty, but I don't. <laughs> that's not too much work. I don't have time for that. Now, this container also comes from the Dollar Tree, and I love this one because it's deep. It's like, and it has this fold-open lid here, 
if you can see it just like snaps closed like that but okay i don't know when my thing quit recording i hope it i just put the little um boxes that are in the the ones i got from joann's with the blue handles i was showing y'all all the little stuff in there i just put those back and then realized that my camera wasn't recording so hopefully um it didn't quit too far before you know hopefully it got that but anyway, these are the other types of containers I use. These are from the Dollar Tree. Now, you don't want to put anything in here that's tiny and going to come out these holes. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Don't use, don't put like jump rings or, you know, <laughs> spacer beads, that kind of thing in there. But I have freshwater pearls in here. So, all my freshwater pearls are in this container. And they're just in here in these little other containers, whatever I've got that I stick them in, baggies. It doesn't really matter. They're just all, they're separated out. I mean, they're not like floating loose in the bottom, but they're not all in little containers either there's some strands of stuff in here so but i put i store a lot of stuff like this i have fresh i'll tell you what i separate out i have freshwater pearls i have wooden beads in one butterflies in one polymer clay in one cat's eye beads in one fancy beads like the ones you get from joann's that are the big fancy tibetan style like jesse james style those kind of beads in one millefiori glass in one filigree in one um rings in one like closed rings like um connector rings and rings you you know not jump rings um and then crosses in one is that it i'm looking split rings in one and they're in their little containers jump rings in one in their little containers but i don't use those hardly ever those are like odd collar jump rings and i never use split rings i hate them with a passion <laughs> um I, they're they're very nice they're great for security but I can, they just kill me um, bezels in one stars in one hearts in one and tassels slash flowers but I don't really put the flowers I don't know why I have that labeled tassels slash flowers do I have any flowers in here no I don't know why I labeled it that way maybe I was thinking of these little things as flowers <laughs> I don't know but anyway these are tassels they're in one so um that's what I have in these and that's how I separate things out so if I get in if somebody sends me some hearts they're going to go in my heart container even if they are heart charms they're not going to go with my charms they're going to go with my hearts I don't I know it makes no sense guys I'm sorry <laughs> but that's the way I do it so I'm just telling you because everybody's always asking me okay then these are the other baskets that I get from the Dollar Tree. And I love these, but you don't want to store chain in these because it comes out these bottom things and gets stuck. I've learned that the hard way too. Okay, so this is crackled glass. And again, the reason that, you know, this is a bigger container because this is bigger. I need more room in there. So what I have in these, I have crackled glass in one. I have cubes in one. I have nautical in one. I have lamp worked glass in one. I have all my shell in one. I have um, metal pendants in one. And I think that's it for those. Yeah, that's all I have of those. So that's how I store, you know, bigger stuff like that. Dollar Tree. I am not one of those people that has to go to Ikea and have all my stuff, you know, it's expensive. Why would you do that when you can get stuff at the Dollar Tree and Walmart and it's like a fraction of the cost? Spend your money on beads. Um, okay, so that is pretty much everything. Now, the way I separate things out, I will tell you if you, if you want to hang in here that long, you may be getting bored, but if not, I will tell you that I separate besides the things I just told you. I put all my ear wires together, okay, so let me show you these. These come in these, um, or these are in these, this is a tray from the Dollar Tree. It's just an acrylic tray. I have a bunch of these little acrylic trays, if you'll notice, sitting around, and I use these, like, if I'm going to do, like, this is a project right here that's waiting to be done. I just put everything in this tray, and then I have it all together when I'm ready to do it. I do that a lot, but this one stores ear wires and it stores weird thing weird ear wires like these big hoops that won't fit in here and different stuff like these are really cool um but just different stuff that i don't it does have some fish hooks in here because i'm too lazy to put them away <laughs> but there they are and then this one these two right here are the tackle box type containers from hobby lobby and they have you know just fish hooks 
Um, these trees, these are ear wires. I guess these could be pendants too. I really should have these with my chandelier. I do chandelier separate, but I didn't put them in with this. So, you know, this is just all of the ear wires and I've got two containers of those and then this tray with the weird ones on it. And they are, again, are at my fingertips right here because I use them a lot. So I separate out my jump rings. So jump rings are here. Now this is a terrible <laughs> example of how to store your jump rings. I gotta say, they're all in here and they're separated out pretty much by color, but like, see, some of them get mixed up. Um, but I, I mean, I understand this, so this system, but jump rings. Okay, so I put my jump rings all together. I put all my rondelles together. They're in these little containers. Now, tiny rondelles. Big rondelles go with my regular beads. I know, there's no rhyme or reason. But anything under six millimeter, I keep in these containers. So these are the purple ones, okay? And I don't know why I do that. <laughs> I have no idea, but I do. So they're all stacked right there on my shelf. Um, I put all my bicones together by color. I put all my um, odd-shaped beads together by color. Now, these are odd-shaped beads, but they're not odd-shaped two-hole beads. Okay, so <laughs> they're odd-shaped beads. So these little cathedral beads are odd shapes, um, and that's why they're in here. There are some elongated bicones that are in here, if you can see. There are O-beads. They're in here because they're just an odd shape. And I like to keep them separate because they're little and they kind of get lost in my big bead drawers. Um, so I put all these little tiny odd shaped things in here together. These are cuboid beads. Um, yeah, so these are little, I think these are called gecko beads or pip beads or something. I don't know. But anyway, all the odd shaped beads go in here. The odd shaped single hole beads, okay? Two hole beads are kept separate. <laughs> You guys are going to hate me after this video. You're going to be like, you really make no sense. And I know it doesn't make sense to anybody else, but it does to me. I have all my bead caps together. I have all of my charms together in the tackle box type containers. I have all of my 11 o seed beads together in the Harbor Freight containers. All of my fire polishes together. And they're all separated out by color, but they're all together. Like there will be a Harbor Freight container for all the yellow fire polish. Harbor Freight container for all the white. I mean, like that. And I do my seed beads, my bicones, my Rhonda. I do them all that way. Um, and then I have a tackle box type container for flowers. So all the flower beads that I get go in there. Um, then I have a, a um, container for leaves. And I have a container for bugle beads, 8 -oh seed beads, two hole beads. All my two hole beads and super duos go together. I have metal pendants separated out by themselves. I have chandeliers separated out by themselves. And then spacers are sh separated out by spacers. And by spacers, I don't mean spacer beads. I mean spacers like, let me show you. <laughs> so I don't even know how to explain that. Um, these kind of things, links. I guess you could call them links or connectors. I have labeled them spacers for some reason. So anything like that, like this, that is, has a ring on both ends and can connect things, they go in, see these, these are the, it's just a spacer. So anyway, that's how I have the, I have all those together. Links or connectors, I guess is what you could call them as well. Then I have all of my drops and briolettes together. I have a container just for clasps, not lobsters, because my lobsters are in this little thing over here Lynn gave me, just all other clasps, and a container for toggles. So toggles and other class were kept separate. Then I have um, the Walmart containers, the plasticky ones that I just showed you for silver metal beads, gold and copper metal beads. Um, and then I have a tackle box type container for large metal beads. So all of the silver metal beads and the gold and copper ones are small. They're in those containers. And then I have a tackle box container for large, like big diameter metal beads. And I think that that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you one more thing here. Okay, so these are the drawers that are right beside me. And this, believe it or not, I just cleaned this out the other day, but you would never know it. But there are trays in here. I use these all the time. These came from Dollar Tree. They're in the um, section for like the catering or party stuff, but they're, I use them for beads. Um, I've got just stuff in here like that. Pins. 
um, beading needles are there, my business cards, but this is the drawer that I wanted to show you. So these are all of my eye pins and head pins. And they're all separated out in this drawer, except for these, oh no, these are all the um, ball, the ball head ones. Um, but I keep these right at my fingertips. So that is the main thing that I want to stress in organization is like things together, but things that you use all the time at your fingertips, okay? That's one of the most important things. And since I changed it, my room to make it like that, it has been one of the best things that I've ever done. Um, it's made my life so much easier. So that's my main tip is everything at your fingertips that you use all the time. Now, I will say, everybody asks me, how do you inventory your stuff? How do you? I don't. Um, there's no way to inventory all of my personal stuff. There's just no way. I mean, I would be, I just, I guess if I had started at the beginning writing everything down maybe, but yeah, no, I don't. Um, and the way I price things, everybody always asks me that too. And I don't use the formulas because they are too expensive. Nobody's going to pay those prices. And everybody says, well, you don't want to put your stuff too cheap. Well, no, you don't. But I've done a lot of craft shows, people, and I will tell you, <laughs> people don't want to pay a lot of money for handmade jewelry. They don't recognize the value of it. So I look at something like this necklace right here. I just made this the other day. That's how light, so it's got gemstone in it. Um, I would probably put $20 to $25 on that necklace. And that's just, I judge it by what I would pay for something. Um, because most people aren't going to recognize, they're not going to look at that necklace and go, oh, that's how light, and that's Coriana chain, and that took her, you know, an hour to put together, and they're not going to do that. They just look at it, and you've got the paparazzi table next to you that's got $5 jewelry on it, and they're not going to pay $25, $30, or $50 for this necklace when the paparazzi table's right next to you selling something similar to it, even though it's not the good quality. Yes, we know that. But for five bucks, you know, they're not going to do it. So I don't use those formulas. The formulas are you take your product, you add up all the cost of your product, then you take your time and you multiply your time by what you would want to make per hour. Well, I'm sorry, guys. It's just people are not going to pay those prices. They're not. And um, so I don't do a big inventory of my stuff. I pretty much know what I have. Most for the most part, I mean, I, I can't tell you every little thing, but I kind of know what I have. And when I create something and put a price on it, I just put on there. I make sure I cover my cost and product, of course. But as far as the hourly time, I mean, you're really just not going to get that out of handmade jewelry. I'm sorry. If you are, then I'm impressed. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's the craft room. That's how I store it all. I hope it's been helpful. Um... You know, I've tried to be as in-depth as I know how to be <laughs> for this, but and tell you as many tips and tricks as I can think of. But anyway, um, check out my website for all these gorgeous beads that are hanging here. They're on there. There's some really pretty ones. Um, lots of product. I've got tons of bead caps, you know, really cool bead caps here. I've got pendants and charms, and there's Sadie taking a nap. Um, like I said, pendants and charms and some really pretty stuff. These handmade lucite flowers, hand-painted lucite flowers are gorgeous. Um, but I'm going to get off here and get some other stuff done. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.